there's the bell, and here we go. The first competitor to pin or make their opponent tap will win this match. Oh, what an underhanded move. Don't try this at home, kids. Please don't try this at home. That could result in permanent injury to some very delicate equipment down there. Oh, Ooh. the punch connects. Just how dirty is Ric Flair going to have to get to beat his opponent? I think he'd have to get as dirty as he can to get a win here. And there's the elbow. Here's a move that'll have you singing soprano afterward. Wait a second, what's he doing? By any means necessary. Looks like they've come in here and stepped up their game. Yep. But the ladder of success goes both ways. The losing side, that means a trip down one run. <clears throat> That's just sadistic. That'll take the fight out of anyone in a hurry. Yeah, and raise your voice a few octaves to boot. You can't compete in a physical match like this and not wind up feeling the effects. And that's what we're starting to see right here. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has given as much of themselves to this business than the Nature Boy. Are you kidding me or what? I can only hope that I've got Flair's motor. He could pin his opponent right here! And he lights up his opponent's chest with a chop. Low blow. I think it's time to bring out the heavy firepower. These superstars got it in them to cause a lot of damage, believe me. Oh my God, did you hear the impact of those steel sticks? everywhere from bingo halls to sold out mega arenas. While there's something to be said for small crowds, I love the energy of massive buildings. The people in the ring can feed off that electricity also. When 20,000 people are screaming your name, it's easy to rise to the occasion. It's worth getting a sore throat from yelling on commentary to get to witness it too. <laughs> Talk about laying the boots in. Now where's he going? Oh! Hope he wasn't planning on starting a family anytime soon. <laughs> Here we go. Don't give me a break. There's no need for that. about becoming a wrestler, or what they call in this company, an in-ring competitor. Uh, considering the fact that I'm afraid of my wife, I haven't really thought about it that much. I don't know, man. You'd be tough to catch in that ring. Kind of like a greased-up shaved cat with mayonnaise on his face. Oh, that was sick. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Someone's voice just went up a couple of octaves. The Nature Boy Ric Flair knows every trick in the book. Ha! Ah, knows the book? Come on now, man. He wrote the book. That's a good point. And I bet if you're not looking, he'd clock you upside the head with the book, too. And I can't promise you he wouldn't think twice about it. What a kick that was. That'll make you see cross eyed. Wearing an athletic supporter even helps that. Yeah, but if they did, I don't know if they'd be able to take it off after that. What a fierce kick. <clears throat> I've been in that spot before, and I don't want to go back. Oh no, not the steel steps! This superstar wasn't planning on uh, reproducing, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess adoption is still an option, right? Whoa. He's showing absolutely no respect for his opponent. right now I'm telling you. you and me both partner yeah but me more than you you know because I know what it's like to perform in a ring you don't he unloads a well-structured series of moves Such a nasty move. Oh my, just bursting those capillaries in their chest. 
Here it comes! Oh, did you see that knee? A vicious stuff! He's working the fundamentals there. 